All right, this is a big one. And if it's not in Photoshop yet, then you can go to Creative Cloud and go to beta apps and download the beta and then open it up. By the time you're watching this, it might be in Photoshop. So let's talk about generative fill in Photoshop. So let's demonstrate what this can do. We can extend the size of the image. And then if we select this empty area, we can hit generative fill and hit generate. Let Photoshop do its thing. Now that looks pretty good to me. And it comes up with different variations. So you can choose the one you like, or you can always hit generate again, and it's gonna come up with three more options. Now let's see what it can really do. Let's see if we can get rid of this car. So I'm going to hit generate again. And there you have it. It's gone. And this is incredible how it's built the rest of the door there. We've got a few to choose from. We can hit generate again. Let's see what happens. All right, that one looks pretty cool. And you can see that we've now got six options down here. I quite like this first one. We can always just jump back down to this layer. Maybe we choose a different version. We can generate again. So unlike DALI or Mid Journey, we're actually interacting with the images, choosing what parts to change. And we haven't even started with the prompts yet. Obviously, we can continue to go through and remove any signage or lampposts. And, and if we zoom in, check this out. And because this is layered, we need to bring this layer on top. But if I zoom out, you can see that we've extended this image. Um, now let's look at some of the prompts. I'm going to select an area and we'll go to generative fill. And now let's put a man on a bike with motion blur. And the size of the area we've selected is going to dictate the size of what's created. All right, that's not looking too hot. That's looking a lot better. And that is perfect. I don't actually like this person here. So again, because this is layered, we can just select that layer. Let's grab the brush and we can just brush them out. And let's select a soft brush and just paint back in some of the areas we want to keep. So what we've done is we've gone from this image to this. Maybe our man on the bike's too big, but just remember as well, this is in beta and this is the worst this is ever going to be. I think this is incredible and I think that this is going to have massive impacts on our workflow. Next up, let's take a look at a portrait. And um, what we can do is select the subject. You can see it's going to select that guy. And what we can do is invert the selection. Let's hit generate. And this time I'm going to put barley and let's see if we can transport this guy to Bali. Nice. This actually, <laughs> wow. How about that? And it actually keeps the blur and the camera lens from the background, the lighting looks good. That works for me, that's great. Now let's try a few other bits. Let's try an interior scene. And what we can do here is let's get rid of this guy and see if it can rebuild the background there. Wow. Take a look at these. And that works perfectly. That works perfect as well. I didn't ask for a chair, but I will take it. And let's see what else we can add. Maybe we can put a lamp in here. So add a lamp. lamp. This is a really fun way as well of generating images. I can see this having a massive impact on interior designers, architects. How about that? Wow. Uh, let's add a mirror on this wall. And just thinking about having to do this in Photoshop, I love Photoshop. I think I'm pretty good at Photoshop, but the time this would normally take compared to what this is incredible. How about that? And it even imagines the rest of the room. Wow. I think that first one looks pretty good. Let's see if we can add in a rug. I'll just write rug. Wow. That is super impressive. So we've gone from there. Oh, sorry. We've gone from 
this to this. And that was pretty painless. All right, let's take a look at one last big cityscape here. And let's see how it fares with filling some of this. I'm going to overlap it a little bit. Let's just hit generate and we'll let it do its thing. Now I will be super impressed if this works. Wow, this looks great. Maybe we can add some uh, something in the foreground here, like add high rise buildings. Now that is really impressive. So we started out with this and ended up with this. This interior scene started like this and ended like this. This guy was here and ended up in Bali. And this image started out like this and came out like this. The impacts of this is going to be massive. I can see this being used. I mean, you could hook up your microphone and just start talking to Photoshop, selecting areas, change this window, put change the door to red. This is definitely a tool you need to be aware of and start to use. I've also made a collection of all the AI tools I'm using, so you can find a link to all of them videos in the description.